believe it, the kid drew this. I'll save that for later. You see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the flapjack fire, or the site fire, or...? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About what happened to Brian. I don't have much to say. I'm fine. I'm sad. I'm whatever. I keep thinking about him down there, and... I just want to get far away from here. What can I do? We just have to wait for the helicopters. Okay. Until then, could you follow that signal? Maybe? Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Alright, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. Oh, well, that's nice. And this fire is really brewing. It's everywhere. I wonder if a thing like this actually exists in real life, like a wave receiver. I know there's like RFID tracking and radio trackers that are like super massive things, but I don't think there's anything like this portable. It's coming from the west again. This is gonna be interesting. Hopefully we'll find what, what it is. One. On. Uh, maybe go this way. Yep. Still the same direction. Maybe go around this. Ooh. Where is it taking me? Uh, is it taking me down this way? Where on earth is this thing taking me, really? I'm a little sketched out because now we're walking kind of away from it. Still west. Come on, come on. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right. Well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's it's just. Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. It's kinda sad. <clears throat> like, they, they were really buddy buddies, like, early on, and now it's like... It's kinda sad. Mildly... Mildly, mildly sad. Kind of like a very professional mood, but at the same time, like, you get like a hint of sadness every time he says something. And not just because it's Brian, it's like, this, this summer has turned into utter and, utter and incredible shit. Oh, what the fuck? Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? 
There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Oh. I have nothing else to do but plug it in. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a... She's a record you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out, and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids, all right? Nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know I didn't kill him, all right? We were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just, he just, he just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. That's sad. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. You need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Uh, he didn't necessarily die. Just saying. Or he didn't necessarily kill him. He just so happened to... to be teaching him and then he just... just went. There's the, uh, teen magazines. He held on to some of Brian's things, his wizards and wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. Brian was a nice looking kid. Yeah. He. God. What? Nothing, just some of Brian's stuff. It's so sad. And I'm like taking his stuff now because stuff reasons. He wrote down everything he did to us and everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. <laughs> I bet. Apparently, there was another exit from Wapiti. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. Yikes. That's an old typewriter there. A lot of supplies. Five for two forks. Spruce. Wow, he was really hoarding this stuff. He was really trying to frame us, I think. I think he was trying to frame us, maybe? Or was he just trying to survive out here? Really got no idea.
now I'm just like kind of just like rolling through his stuff right now. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing fast. It's going to burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. <gasps> this boombox looks familiar. From the girls? Yeah. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. Oh, she really has nothing to say. Apparently, he was the one that was also drinking the Red Eagle. Here's all the radio logs. This guy was really, really trying. Man, look at all this. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. Is there anything else? He had quite the view. It's making a sound, but it's not moving. It's some ghost chimes. There we go. That's the last one in the roll. I do have like more photos, but that's from the other playthrough. I might, at the end, like in the description, just put a link to it in case you guys want to see like what kind of photos like I get, and as well as maybe a link for this one as well. But it is kind of sad that it, all of this was because of an accident. And he would just want to cover it up pretty much. It's kind of a bummer. I can't climb down from there. That sucks. Poor Ned. We're being out here for like three years, not knowing like like what to do. Because he's like stuck out here thinking about it. Let's uh, make it to the evac site, I guess. I think the closest route is probably towards the lake. Yeah, it looks like it might be faster towards the lake. photo, you know? I don't want to hear it. He, he obviously didn't want to forget him. He just didn't know what to do. Henry, not knowing what to do isn't okay. When you're supposed to look after someone, you... 
you figure it out. Yes. And Ned Goodwin is a shithead who is incapable of figuring anything out. Sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You'll let it go, and it'll be okay. It'll haunt you for a while, but eventually you'll look back and you'll be far enough away to forgive yourself. Justify to myself, maybe. Yeah, well, that's better than nothing. And he'll still be down there in that cave. Because if I say anything, they're gonna ask me about Ned. <laughs> e? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Wait, wait. Oh, shoot, I took the wrong route. Oh, well. Hike safe. Oh, damn. Didn't respond fast enough. I think she left. Because that hike safe doesn't sound like she's going to stay. Well, this is probably the end. If she's going, then we're about to go too. Looking back on this game, it's actually it's actually not so bad. Uh, there's the there's Hawk's Rest where I got bit by that raccoon. Uh, I doubt I can get bitten by the same raccoon again, but I think right now we're more worried about getting the F out of this place before it burns down. I think like. When you're in a forest, forest fire like this, like you should be wearing like, like something around your face to protect you from all this smoke. Like this doesn't, this doesn't look safe at all. Uh, we're supposed to go this way. Should have taken the other path, but, but this might be the one closest to her. Or closest to the tower now, because she's not there anymore. Oh, we can assume that she's not there. Uh, nope, that's not it. Where the hell am I supposed to go? If I remember correctly, this should lead to the broken wire. Or is it fixed? Oh, it's fixed. I think it's fixed. Oh yeah, it's fixed. Okay. Oh, here's that route. Okay, so this is the route that we took when we uh, repaired the wire. I think overall, like, this, this game does really know how to set the mood. So at the end, it does seem kind of convoluted in terms of the story. Like, you're not too sure if it's going to be suspense, you're not too sure if it's going to be a murder mystery. And then, like, the dialogue is kind of off. Like, it doesn't, like, lock you off from any, like, like dialogue options, so, like, the story kind of gets kind of weird. I think, um... Like in, in the end, like, it, it does do what it does in terms of having a very artistic way of showing the game and kind of kind of really giving you a very interesting perspective. And also teaching you some stuff, which is kind of rare. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Delilah? Yeah, she's not there. 
Oh, he's gone. He's absolutely, absolutely gone when she said hike safe. Huh. So apparently that lookout for the uh, loading screen is is her freaking lookout. Is it? I think it is. Yeah, it is. That's kind of cool. A random floating airplane. Cool. I wonder if there's like, I know Life is Strange has like alternative endings, but I wonder if this has any alternative endings. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Oops. Don't mind if I do. Oh, that's kind of cute. So Bucket Jr. is actually the name of the uh, turtle that I found uh, on the second playthrough. That's kind of cool. I'm keeping that. Like it doesn't really matter. It's more for being a completionist. She doesn't really have anything here. Wait, is that? Pork pond sign? I wonder. I hear an airplane out there somewhere. So, this is pretty much your sleeping arrangement. Kind of neat. Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red? Colorado plates? Yeah. It's a piece of shit. It's better than whatever you drive. What do you drive? A piece of shit. <laughs> well, there you go. Although, I think there's a raccoon living in yours. Probably the one who attacked my face. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, oh, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me and I'll choose for you. <sighs> All right, sure. Um, maybe. Oh, choices, choices. Well, you'd make a great shrink. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You spent ten weeks with me, and God knows how much therapy it's going to take to undo this experience. Well, you're a good conversationalist, I guess. Thanks. I try. I mean, you definitely still have some stuff to learn at shrink school, like a lot of stuff. Noted. So, um, what about me then? I think you should go to Julia. And then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. 
I am. Um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Yeah, sure. Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. She won't even recognize me, Delilah. You're not just going for her. You don't know what it's like. <sighs> Bad things happen, okay? And you have to... You have to find a way to contain the damage. A good way. Well, hopefully I can figure out a way to do that. Yeah, I hope so. God, this got dark. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, there's the helicopter. Good. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. You too. Good luck. You keep it for yourself. Bye, Hank. I guess that's all she wrote. Wow. That's kind of a melodramatic way to end the game. Yikes. Is there anything left here to do? Well, we did check out our outhouse. Might as well check out hers. She probably doesn't want to come back here anymore, so I might as well take a peek. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, nothing too cool. Just a rug. Wait, is that a person I see? Just hanging on the back there? It might be an actual human being. Oh my god, it is! It is! It is a dude! Oh my god, he's like the only person that we've seen so far. That's that. Cool. And some copyright music. Hopefully this won't get stricken down for it. But yeah, that's the end of uh that's the end of Firewatch. That was interesting. It had a lot of little themes about like mental health and and adventuring and finding finding like peace with yourself or something it's got like a nice game design though so I wish like the terrain was a little bit larger because it did feel like there's not a lot to do like it's just like a very small area to keep to yourself though it would have been nice if it was like a huge giant national park they can roam around and explore and such. But um Yeah, the, these are the pictures I took. Some of them are our stuff that we took during this playthrough and then probably I'll I'll link I'll give you guys a link to the stuff I've taken here and then a link to all the stuff that I've taken in the other playthrough. I think the other playthrough I spent like like I think the fourth or fifth chapter of the of the game, I think it was like day forty something, and just like t took pic pictures everywhere. But I pretty much like second playthrough. I pretty much pushed myself just to like get to the point where we kind of have some overlap, so at least we can actually finish the game in some sort of continuity that might be. That might make sense. Oh, there's that selfie. There's that random selfie. I don't know what that one is. The one that's just like blacked out. I don't even know what that is. There's that dime store, so I'm guessing it's Brian's backpack. So there's his dad, because I definitely know that that pack somewhere. There's Brian. There's that first one that they took when they arrived, which is kind of nice. I guess that's the end. So, there we have it. There's Firewatch. 
which I bought like a couple of years ago. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. I'll see you guys next time.